on this masterful episode of the NES Pursuit. Ricky, he always gives me a discount. The gang spends the day at a local collector's swap meet at Frank and Sons. That's the way I like a deal to start. Riff gets his silly hands on one of the greatest things he's ever laid his eyes upon. Yeah. <gasps> Ricky lives by go big or go home, and he proves that again today. So he said he'd bring it to this swap meet, and I brought the Bomberman 2 to trade. NES Complex may need to see a doctor after what happened here. I had an allergic reaction to a baby wipe. Riff and Gabo head to the tattoo shop to bind their love for video games and animation in blood. Yeah. Now he's gonna yellow up Maggie. And that's it. Call the doctor and prepare for early access, desirable finds, red faces, and a bloody revolution. This is the NES Pursuit. This thing is beautiful. It's kind of like top tier, coolest thing that I've seen in a long time. Today I am heading out to the Frankenstein Swap Meet Collector Expo, whatever you want to call it. This thing is exciting me like crazy. It's basically, the best way to put it is a giant retro gaming garage sale from what I understand. So I'm beyond excited. So I get here and I'm one of the first people here in this entire place. I mean, the parking lot is empty. So I guess I'll be first dibs, first in line. <laughs> but once I walk into the little line that has formed just a few people, one of our awesome friends, a lady who works here says, hey, I wanna get you guys in right now. Come in, check out the expo. So we get early access. We get a walk in there like 45 minutes before anyone else. And as you know, if you're a collector, getting to go to like a garage sale or a swap meet before anyone else is kind of like a dream come true. So I'm excited. I got like 30 minutes before anybody. <laughs> Let's go, come on. But right after I get into the event, Ricky calls me and says he's here. So the lady has me walk outside and grab Ricky to get in early as well. I'm so excited. We missed this thing last year. We, this is our first time here. So excited. There are so many vendors here. It's seriously insane. So right when we get in there, Ricky's like, hey, you need to check out Secret Game Stash's booth. Our buddy Juan, an awesome guy. Make sure you stop by my booth today. I got something special for you. <laughs> I actually looked on Instagram. Juan, uh, Secret Game Stash, had a bunch of the little thermoses and I told Riff, first place we should hit up was Juan. And right when I walk over, I know what he was talking about. There is thermoses everywhere, and someone who's been collecting lunch boxes, getting thermoses is an awesome thing to do as well. Are they all the price differently? No, they're all, they're all they're usually five each, and the ones that I can't form are seven. A few, they'll be five. Right when I get there, I say, Juan, how much are these thermoses? He's kind of throwing out some prices, and he's like, you know what, you're a buddy, he's a friend. He says five bucks each. Yeah, all right, so the four <laughs> shirts that I'm gonna get already right off the bat is Rambo. So the ones I grab as I'm rummaging through is Pac-Man because Ricky has this and I don't, and Magic Kingdom because I've been on a, like a uber obsession with Mickey Mouse lately. I don't know what it is, so. G.I. Joe, a real American hero, Pac-Man, Rambo, and a Disney Magical Kingdom thermos. And this G.I. Joe, I might as well call it an even 20. Right. Well, already, bro, already. So to pick up these thermoses, all of them, for just 20 bucks is ridiculously a good price because sometimes people will sell you just one for like 20 bucks. Rip picks up a couple thermoses, but what I see that I want is this Final Fantasy II box and manual. 
this one. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna pick this up. I mean, it's beat up and stuff, but he let it go for 10 bucks. And I, I, I couldn't say no to that because it was too good of a deal. You know what, he's made it for, he's given it for 10. I was like, it's boxing manual and stuff. So I think it's a good deal. I'm going for it. So I've been saving this moment for a very long time. Juan then says, wait, I have something for you. I want to give you something. I know you've been looking for this for quite a long time. It's very rare. You'll see it often. What are you being serious? Box. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, what is this gonna be? Juan's a nice guy. He's a generous guy. He's been a friend for a while. Yeah. Uh, uh, There's something I know you don't have at the moment on a, a watch. Yeah. <gasps> but he goes on to give me a boxed Star Fox watch. Oh my gosh! It, look at it. <laughs> First of all, I didn't know that these Star Fox watches came in a cool case like this one does. Check that out, and it works. I put batteries on it, everything's on. This case, when it opens up, it's like a clam hard shell. It has a Nintendo postage on the back. It has different cardboard areas that tell you it's a Star Fox watch. It even has a little baggie with some cables in it. Dude, that is, are you serious? Yeah, I got this as a gift from Kenneth. Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, what's up, how's it going? <laughs> this thing is beautiful. It's kind of like top tier, coolest thing that I've seen in a long time. Dude, this is sick. Oh my gosh. To me, regardless of what it's worth or anything like that, I don't know, I didn't look, is definitely one of the coolest things I've seen here at the expo and even in a wild game hunting. It is minty, clean, it has the inside. I didn't even know these had cases. Thank you, Secret Game Stash. Thank you, watch. sir. You I'm gonna be on enjoy that. Oh my Make god. Sure check out my channel. Woo. We will. What is it? <laughs> oh, that's Secret, Secret Game Stash on YouTube. <laughs> I think I'm falling in love. Five bucks? Five bucks? Five bucks? Five bucks? bucks? Alright. A clean Sega Master controller. Game Swappers. Check it out. I'm cruising along around the expo checking out all the amazing different things that are here. So I collect these, but this is like a different color of it. Never seen this. I see another Nintendo case. Now, I collect these. I have a long black box. I don't have this one. I have the black version of it. I have the smaller one, and I have the larger one. So this, to have it like in the gray snakeskin color. But I've never seen this silver snakeskin looking box. How much is this? 15. He says 15 bucks. I say, hey, will you take 10? I think I can take 10 with whatever's inside. You said I could take 10 with what's inside. See? the community. I'm gonna buy this for 10 bucks. He agrees on 10, so I get this thing for 10 bucks and to have like a cool variant of one I have never seen. I'm gonna be carrying my games in style. So adding to my collection of Nintendo cases. So I'm about to lick your face. Actually, he has African too. Too many people, too much competition. Coming up, Ricky makes some trades to get some heavy hitters. And later, the breaking of the skin will begin. Since Game On Expo in Arizona, I had this Bomberman 2 that I've been waiting to trade. Uh, one of our good buddies, David Kim, but he didn't bring any turbo stuff that time. So he said he'd bring it to this swap meet, and I brought the Bomberman 2 to trade. Hey, you still interested in that Bomberman 2? And when we got to his booth, he had a ton of it. He had too many games that I wanted, and I'm, I'm gonna pick up Galaga 90, I'm gonna pick up Blazing Lasers, and Legendary Axe 2. If I can do 180, I'll give you 120 credit. Yeah. 120 credit yeah. and 180 here? Yeah, that and 60. But on top of that, I saw River City Ransom there. Complete in box. How much on this one? No. How much are you asking on this one? And I'm gonna work out a trade with him, see what he does. That and 70. Huh? This and 70? At the end, we decided to trade the, the Bomberman 2, and then 70 bucks on top of that. 
for all those games. All right, so I'm gonna trade him Bomberman 2 and get Legendary Axe, Galaga 90, River City Ransom, and Blazing Lasers. Then I have to throw an extra 70 on top. So I mean, I'm doing it. I don't have it boxed. I think I deserve to get maybe some sort of offer on it. I think it was a good deal, so why not? Great, good job, Ricky. Good job, Chanel. <laughs> Darn it, car! It's too loud, the car is everywhere! If you like games and Disney, Disney stuff, he's the guy to go to. All right, so next to Kim is our other buddy, Jose, and I was looking through his stuff. I was almost tapped out, truth be told, but he had something that caught my eye. It was a, the green uh, Adventure Island, the first one for the NES Complete in Box. You gotta touch it, you gotta smell it. <sighs> he had it for 15 and I was like, I think I can get him down to 10. Hopefully he'll go for 10 and I'll do it. Go over there, ask Jose, he's like, dude, whatever, 10 bucks is cool. Yeah, thank you Jose. So I picked that thing up and it's beautiful. It's really nice. I'm just happy to have Master Higgins in my collection. Hudson's Adventure Island, a 1987 game that I gotta admit, Ricky getting this for 10 bucks is kinda too cheap. In my opinion, a rival to the Wonder Boy games and Master Higgins is the OG. So Ricky, good pickup for 10 bucks box. Are you serious, bro? Complete in man? My wife's gonna kill me. I don't care. Ricky! Ew, that's gross. I have dirt on my head. I think I'm gonna get it. Let's see if I can get it down. And this one, just because you know it's Power Stone. Power Stone on the Dreamcast is sick. One of the best multiplayer games on the Dreamcast. Uh, it's Sunday. Normally at this time I'm sleeping, but we for home and say, hey. You have to come, we need to film this. Here we are with Frank and his son. Wait, that's not right. We're at Frank and son or sons. Did he have more than one son? What's so, up? How are those ribs? You broke his rib, Ricky? So I'm walking around, of course, and the first thing I see, actually, the, it's like the eighth thing I see, is a table full of NES games. And they have these weird dots on them. There's some pink dots and green dots. What does this mean? It's some sort of weird like neon Christmas. All right, so as you know, I'm trying to build up the collection again, and, and they got this crazy deal going on right now. It turns out it was a neon Christmas, because if you bought three pink ones, you got a certain price, if you bought three green ones. I don't remember what the numbers are, uh, but all I know is that these are some good deals. I don't know much about Power Ranger games, but I know like if we find Ricky, Ricky loves Power Rangers. He sometimes he dresses like the Pink Ranger, and he pretends to fight Zord. Pink, huh? Yeah, and I'm gonna load up because I'm trying to get this NES collection going again. So I grab this, grab that, I get eight games. I got King's Knight, I got Rad Racer 2, I got Iron Sword 2 with Fabio, who's really um, buff, and uh, I got a lot of good stuff. Okay. We are now using the currency of dots. That's what we need, right? It's a good boot. It was a good, it was a good table. No, thank you. Woo! Look at that, $30. I love Chris. Oh, Ricky, he always gives me a discount. <laughs> I've been an animation artist, uh, graphics guy for oh, since 30 years. I worked on Sierra Online, I worked on Earthworm Jim 2, Aladdin, Jungle Book, this one right here, just an animator, uh, Terminator CD. Uh, Robocop vs. Terminator, Gargoyles, Cool Spot, and uh, Virtual Springfield. But thank you for keeping retro gaming alive. I watch it all the time. Back here at Game Tower, these are the guys we convinced to give Gerard a deal on the SNES Classic. Next, I go over to our good, awesome friends from Game Tower, and I'm cruising around, and I see some Sega Master System games. I need this. I need this. Enduro Racer. It's not Excite Bike. And Lord of the Swords, simply for the cover art. Two games that catch my eye in particular are Lord of the Sword and Enduro Racer. Enduro 
Racer is actually an arcade game made by Sega, and it was released in 1986. But it was also ported to the Sega Master System, and in my opinion, it's actually a better game than Excite Bike. Whatever people might say about that, oh well, come at me. It's like an isometric version of Excite Bike, if you want to say that. Better graphics though, if I'm honest. But I am looking at these games, and the prices on these games are $20 and $9. I ask our buddies, hey, $29. $25? Will you guys take 25 bucks? Without hesitation, they say, okay, dude, 25 bucks is fine. Then they say, and you also get a free game. And I'm like, guys, 20, 25 for these? Yeah. Remember, yes, thank you. But since you're buying two games, you get an extra game for free. Are it's actually our promotion. You buy two games, get one free. So I'm searching around. Free. Are you? Oh, Whoa. that's right. Yeah. That, look, it's not just a deal on the camera. Yeah, it's a real deal free. So how, which game? You can choose whatever you like, man. And the game I go to and the game I see that I want is Mickey Mousecapade by Capcom on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I sadly enough don't have this again. I said today I'm on a big Mickey Mouse kick. So Mickey Mouse Capade. Sadly, I don't have a copy of Mickey Mouse Capade anymore. It's not as good as the other Capcom Disney games on the NES, but it's still a great one. So I'm picking this up. Thank you. I'll take it for free, because buy two, get one free. All three of those games for 25 bucks, kind of ridiculous. Thank you again, Game Tower. You guys are freaking rad people. Yes. <laughs> Baludos. Uh, curse you. Stay tuned. After this commercial break, Gabo spins the big bucks in the chase of all things Sega. And don't forget, there will be blood. from me. She yeah. bought me a Christmas present right here. It's no surprise. Uh, I've never been to a Sega. I'm not a Sega guy. I always be a Nintendo guy. A couple of days ago I got a Saturn and I was doing some little research and I see there's a Sega CDX, very expensive one. So I came here directly to find that. Hey, finally I found one. About time. Working. Actually, he gave me a good deal. It was 220. I'm learning from Master Higgins. I mean, Master Ricky. Original power supply, original stereo, AV cables. So, and a six button to go with it. So I got it for 220, and now I'll be a Sega guy. No, I'm not gonna lick your face. Wait, how did I just see that? So, right here he's got all these Japanese games. There was a Gargoyles Quest before the uh, Game Boy. I was gonna say Nintendo. It's numbered, that's interesting. Dude, that's a good get. Dude, Five good bucks. get. Good get, I like that. Good get, I want a shirt. Get good. I want a shirt, no. Good get. <laughs> Get good is what you hear a lot. You know, today is not a t terribly hot day. It's only like 82. But inside there, with a thousand people sweating, it got really hot. So I'm starting to, you know, starting to perspire. And Nicole gives me some baby wipes, which are designed for the sensitive skin of a baby's rear end. But apparently if you put them on your face, um, some people will have a reaction. But I started turning red. It looked like I had a sunburn, and it started actually burning. It was radiating heat. What you guys may not have seen, because Chris was like, hey, don't film me, don't film me, but he was walking around looking like a roasted boiled tomato. It's freaking me out, so I had, to, I had to get away and go wash up, as they say in New York. He's sweating. He's red. He's like, Nicole gave me some baby wipes. It's all my fault. I knew he was a sensitive guy, but I didn't know his skin was that sensitive. Now I know. Oh no, I'm really red. I had an allergic reaction to a baby wipe. What are you doing? It's all my fault. I don't know. I'm gonna sweat. If he still kisses me, <laughs> oh gosh, oh my gosh. Even he, he was like a tomato, all red, and sweaty and salty, but he got the most soft skin of all. 
I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. That baby wipe has totally screwed up my, my mind, too. It's complex. Definitely. We go up to another booth and they have some random Master System games. But the game that sticks out the most is a game that will always stick out the most to a lot of people. Any, uh... Rampage. Sega Master System yeah, version. Uh, recently, Ricky no, got his copy of a uh, of an arcade little toy he got by Brian Collins, one of the designers of it, because it was Rampage on the Sega Master System. Now this game sticks out because the case is red, a bright, beautiful red color. It's vibrant. It sticks out. You can't miss it. And recently, I bought like a toy for my son, so I'm feeling a lot of like the Rampage stuff right now and Sega Master System. So I go over there. The game's complete in good condition and it has a really cool label, by the way. If you don't know, it says 20 oh, bucks. Let's see if he'll do 15. Can you do 15? Right away, again, as always, you should ask for a little lower. I say, will you take 15? Like nothing, they say, yes, I'll take 15. All right, I'll do it. That was, look at the, the cover. It's so interesting with the, the red. It's just, it's a different vibe than the other Sega Master System games. A game that has come out across a ton of different platforms from the arcade to the NES to the Wii to a lot of different things. But this version on the Sega Master System is a game that I'm looking forward to diving back into because man, it has been a while since I played it on the Sega Master System. Spider-Man could probably trade burritos for games too. So we're just about to walk out of the show and I see right in this table Perler Beads and I always see Perler Beads but I notice he's got the Mega Man 2 boss. Look at these Mega Man 2 beauties. He has all eight of them and I'm thinking this is probably going to be expensive but I'm just going to ask how much for all eight and he said 20 bucks. He has all eight of the Robot Masters from Mega Man 2 and he told me he'd do 20 bucks for all eight. 20 bucks for eight, that's a pretty good deal I think. So it's done, it's a deal. I'm missing Mega Man but I'm going to put him in order on my wall of, well right now it's blank but it's going to be Mega Man 2 in, a, in about a half hour. A great day here at Frank and Sons at this collector's swap. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that more places need to be getting on board with because being able to go here and just hang with your buddies, but also not only retail stores, but like just people and random collectors, you know, looking to basically have their own versions of garage sales. So thank you for this event. If you're in this area, you need to come out. It was a great day. It's always awesome hanging with the guys, with my friends. Gabo and I are now going to eat, but after that, we're gonna end our day by going together to get some tattoos together. We might even swap blood. That way we can become real blood brothers. So we're stoked, it's loud out here. It's time to get our soft skin and my hard skin tattooed. I just want to see, I just want to see what tattoos Reef was gonna get. My first Simpsons tattoo, I've been waiting. I have things all over my body that I love, but I don't have anything for The Simpsons yet. It's been a long time coming, but it's finally the day. So, how are you? Good to see you. How are you guys doing, man? Today's the day. More, more tats. <laughs> So we're at my buddy's shop at Senseless Eek in Westminster and I am excited to be here because I finally get to get a few tattoos. And the first one I'm getting, oh yeah, nice. oh yeah, oh I love the spot. Every time I get new tattoos put on, I think the rest of my body looks ugly. Is a California bear kind of a minimal tattoo. Oh no, my skin is too soft. So I get this tattoo and I'm super stoked of the way it looks. But now, so that is the first one. 
a bear. I wanted a bear of some sort to represent California, and this is the bear I went with. So, one down, two to go. On to my second tattoo. I got a little setting sun, kind of with some synth wave vibe colors in there. Not really one of the worst, but it, it hurts. It's not one of the best. Ricky and I, when we first met, we used to surf all the time on the beach and kind of have the sunset in the background. So this is kind, kind of a Ricky tattoo in a weird way. I'm just being honest with you guys. It's kind of a Ricky tattoo. Uno mas. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me oh. put a little bit of yellow in there. Yellow. And then, after that, I move on to my final tattoo, my love for The Simpsons. I finally get to express it. I get the outline of The Simpsons heads all kind of stacked on top of each other. Tattoo number three. Freaking stoked. I'll be getting more. It's not the end. You know how it is if you have tattoos out there. come back. We will be coming back. Christmas time. Me and you both. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm gonna have a Ricky Santa Claus. <laughs> so with that, I am super thankful and stoked. So it's my turn. Uh, Rifo already has his street tattoo. And I'll be honest, I'm very nervous. It's been a while since I have a tattoo. And over here, I'm gonna have um, Negan and Mario because I'm combining two of the things that I love most. Rifo and Ricky, I mean Negan and Mario. In the part of my body that I'm gonna have, they told me it hurts a lot, so let's see what happened. Eh, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I see Gabo going to get his tattoo, and I can see it in his eyes. He's scared. He's nervous. I haven't seen him like this before. He gets super serious. He's all quiet. He's kind of like biting his nails in the corner. I, I'm, I'm not happy, but it's funny. The plastic part never touches your skin. Like I float it. I saw him kind of <laughs> the pain for the first five minutes or so. But as it goes on, his pain goes down. looks beautiful. This Mario Negan is one of the cleanest tattoos I've seen in a while and a super awesome design. Man, I love my new tattoo. I love my Negan Mario. Look at that. It is the end, the very end of the day. It is time to go home. We had a great day at Frankenson's, having a great time with all of our different friends and even just a ton of people in the community meeting everyone out there. We met so many people that watch the show. It is the most humbling experience to be here at an event like this. So thank you community for the support. Thank you Senseless Inc. for the amazing tattoos and thank you to all my friends that I get to do this with. What an amazing family and an amazing community. But I have hard skin. Having hard skin is, is harsh on life. I love this guy. I love you too. He's a little silly and talk like <laughs> but he's a good guy. <laughs> Usually I'm quick enough, but I think the coffee hasn't set in. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, read the comments. I'm annoying. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever Ricky can. He was keys and hot. Am I that annoying? Yes. <laughs> ah. Ricky stinks doo 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 doo. Ricky, oh. <laughs>